now um, let's continue with the tutorial I will show you now how to maybe add across uh, cells so let's look for maybe another series let's go back to St. Louis Fred and let's look for I don't know the GDP deflator and we'll choose the first one gross domestic product implicit price deflator and we'll go to download data we'll have quarterly data from 1950 again to 2014 quarter five, six, 31 in Excel format and everything else stays the same. Let's download this in Excel. So I'll right away put the GDP deflator here and I'll copy and paste this onto my existing work file. Okay. So now we have the deflator. Let's say we want to add the CPI and the deflator for whatever reason. So we'll press the equal sign and we'll click on the CPI, which is the one you want to add and or one of the ones you want to add and the deflator and press enter. Now this is the sum of CPI 1950 quarter one and the deflator 1950 quarter one I can holding the left mouse button drag this down and that copies the formula throughout and we just add it across two series and now I'll show you how to graph two series together. So we'll go to insert line and we'll right click the mouse button and click on select data. We'll add our first series. Let's say we want to graph uh, the CPI and inflation together. So we'll select the CPI first, click OK, we want to add a second series. And the second series we'll add is going to be uh, the inflation rate, for example. And the values for this series is this. OK, we'll press OK. Now we have two variables on the y-axis and we want to add the x-axis. So we'll click on the dates for our y-axis and press OK. So when we look at this graph we see that Excel is not able to distinguish because we have the orange lines in percentages and the blue line in numbers, right? So what we can do is add a secondary axis by clicking on the line and when you see it turns this way, right, with the little square bubbles around, you would right click your mouse right, and say format data series. And here you'll click on that and just add a secondary axis and you're done. And this is how it is. and there you've plotted two series in one graph and this y-axis is for the percentages and the second axis is for the CPI okay now the last thing I want you to know is to answer your questions in different worksheets right so for question one I want you to answer in one worksheet and question two on uh, another worksheet 
So in order to do that, I'll show you a worksheet. It's just the screen you see here. And to add a second worksheet, you just click on this Add button, and that adds a second worksheet. And you can rename these by right-clicking your mouse and clicking on Rename. And let's call this Question 1. And let's call this, we'll rename it to be Question 2. Now, you'll answer question one in here, for example, and question two, you would download the data onto here and do all the calculations and create all your series here. Um, so I think that's it. I think um, this is all you need to be able to efficiently complete your projects. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or visit me in my office hours. Enjoy.